I've never been to this kind of salvage mart. Foreigners are so confusing. Classic gem. You don't eat classic gems, man. Uh, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm sorry, sir. I was just so hungry, and it looked so tasty. Take that back, sir. It's not sharp. It, it, it won't hurt. Take it back. Okay, okay. I take it back. So what are you going to do with that now? I'm going to buy it and play it. Play it? Like tag or cards? No, on a TV. These are video games. Wait, are you going to play it on that evil box that programs your mind to do the devil's work? Yeah, I guess. Can I join? Okay, so now I gotta get the horse away from the ranch. Oh, I can do that. I'm good at riding horses. Did it all the time on the farm. Well, <laughs> your Amish jokes are always so funny. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, what do I do now? The guy over there doesn't want you to leave the ranch, so you gotta find a way to escape. Oh, like, um, like this? You did it. All I had to do was make the elf jump over the fence? That's crazy. Do you uh, want to play another game? There's more than one? Once Norman opened his eyes to video games, there was no turning back. For someone who has never been exposed to even a TV, video games were a huge step for him. Especially him being the target for them as a teenage boy. But was the technology obsession really going to be his biggest problem? Wow, I can't believe how accurate Harvest Moon is. Why did I even live on the farm if I could just do it on this thing? I have a phone? something wrong? It's nothing. It's just I finally found someone to play video games with me, but you keep wandering off and playing them without me. Oh, um, I'm sorry. I, I won't play video games without you again. That's good. It's important that I have someone to play video games with for every waking hour of my existence. Oh, uh, yeah. That sounds important. 
Whew, well, then I hope you're ready for Super Smash Brothers night. Oh, <laughs> there was a man on the farm who asked me and the other little boys to smash him. But he got arrested and removed from the farm immediately. Couldn't imagine why. Norman and Josh continued to spend it just how Josh liked it, every waking hour. Norman loved almost every second of it. It was like he was continuing his adventures as normal without having to actually get up. And Josh was feeding and housing oh, Norman, so his oh, whole life was oh, almost oh, set. Oh. Unfortunately, the unexpected happened. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. <sighs> Another super fun day. Whew, you guys are right. Maybe tomorrow we could try something outside the house? What? I mean, come on, it's kind of been a week straight. I'm starting to miss the air outside. <laughs> we don't need real air. <laughs> uh, well, I guess, um, more video games tomorrow, right? <laughs> Hey Josh. Hey Norman. What what are you doing? I think I'm gonna hit the road. I've been having too much fun and I gotta get back on my journey, you know? Alright, go ahead and leave me. It wouldn't be the first time. Huh? It's just everyone keeps leaving. I don't know why I'm still surprised anymore. I guess I'm not worth everyone staying. This was almost exactly how Norman felt his whole life, abandoned and vulnerable. He couldn't be like every single person in his life and neglect Josh. He had to stay. What's wrong, Norman? I don't know, Sonic. I'm just not happy playing your games anymore. Oh, trust me. I get that all the time. <sighs> But I can't leave now. Now why is that? Because it's not right to leave somebody. Josh has a good heart and deserves to be loved. Everybody does. If you say so. Wait. Before you go, why do you keep saving Amy? She's not really worth it. She's the only one in the Green Hill Zone that puts out a lot. Ah, she gives you presents and food. It is short. Josh, I get that if I left- No, Norman! Don't leave me here! Sad, and scared, and alone, and scared, and sad. Just hear me out for one second. I know that if I leave, you'll get all sad and lonely and depressed again, but you just gotta move on and go with the flow. I know one day you'll find a new person to play games with, a new best friend. But- but what if I don't? Well, you met me, and I'm your friend. There are a lot of people out there like me. And until you find them, you can have your video games to keep you company. Well, I, I guess that's true. After years and years of bullies and being walked all over, Norman stood up for himself. He knew it would be hard to do that to a friend, but it's what he had to do. Well, I'll see you around, but probably not. Oh, I almost forgot. I had this. 